Welcome to Digital Journal TV, my name is Chris Hogg. In this episode, we're taking a look at live blogging, a new phenomenon storming the web where citizen journalists, bloggers, and mainstream media are covering events live online through photography, video, live polls, and comments. We take a look at Cover It Live, a piece of software that's actually leading its way in the industry. They're based in Toronto, Canada, and they have an incredible feature set. So we'll take a look at that and show it to you. But also, the service has suffered some downtime. A product of their own success, they're trying to keep up with this growing trend. So stay tuned and find out why live blogging is changing the media world. Two of the major players in the live blog industry are Cover It Live and Scribble Live, both based in Toronto, Canada. Cover It Live uses an embeddable widget, similar to YouTube, so a moderator can decide whose comments to include and which ones not to. You can also publish live polls, upload photos, embed video. It's intuitive and easy to use, and best of all, it's free. Scribble Live offers a similar service with a slightly different feature set. We are at Cover It Live, and I'm speaking with Keith McSpurn, the president of the service. So Keith, how did you take this into what it is today, or what gave you the idea to live blog? I think I saw a lot of writers um, struggling to do things that would be interactive with their readership in a live setting. Um, to your point, there are lots of software that kind of looks like other software. Um, but sometimes to be successful in software, you have to do things just right to meet the exact need that you're looking for. And I thought there was a hole uh, when it came to live blogging and interacting with the audience, and that's why the idea of Cover It Live came about. The analogy that actually works quite well for us is, is a bit of a radio show kind of format where you don't listen to a radio show to hear everyone talk at once. You call in, you listen because you want the host is an intelligent person who has commentary you want to hear, and that's really what li how we envision live blogging. Having said that, there's really good times to, uh, to quote unquote open up the phone lines and take questions from the callers and that's really why we've built a streaming comment uh, mechanism to handle the tens of thousands of comments that can come in for the really high impact events. Now you offer this service for any blog, any newspaper, really anyone who wants to create a live blog but you don't charge for it. How are you going to monetize this or how are you currently paying for it? Yeah, that's a wonderful question. Um, uh, we think the important point, the important thing to do at this point is to grow live blogging the way we've envisioned it up to a point where people truly see it as a useful, unique uh, thing to do for their news reporting. And at that point, I think you can start to offer premium features to people to say, um, for instance, for newspapers, do you want to control all 20 of your reporters' live blogs as opposed to having them all go off individually? At that point, we start to offer features. And I don't think we're reinventing the business wheel here to say you offer a high-quality free product, figure out how to, how to really get the feature set right, and then start to ladder up and offer features to people. When it comes to reliability, it's one thing in digital journals tests in the various US and Canadian debates, we found that the service does sometimes go down when it reaches capacity. What is Cover It Live doing to, to be more reliable? Because that is going to be your future. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's a fair point that um, uh, people want to grow their, grow their audiences using our software. Uh, the, the phrase go down is one that I usually uh, take with a grain of salt because what we do do is put in automated safeguards to make sure your live blogs are protected if we ever reach our capacity, which by the way has only ever happened once. What we've been doing behind the scenes that a lot of our users don't see is continually working to make the software more efficient but also expanding the capacity. So we feel pretty good about staying ahead of the curve of our, of our readers at this point and our users. How do you think live blogging is going to change the media scape where there's a traditional publisher and reader? How do you think that relationship's changing and how do you think it'll affect citizen journalism as an example? Yeah. Um, I, I think live blogging, the way we've envisioned it, feeds into the same kind of trend that you're seeing for citizen journalism. Um, uh, you can't expect 20 reporters in a top-down organization to completely cover an issue anymore. It just, there's just more options available. I think citizen jur journalism exploits that opportunity to say, look, there are lots of smart people out there. Um, and sometimes we use the TV example of, just because there's two guys calling the football game doesn't mean there's only two guys who are, have intelligent things to say about that football game. There's a lot more people who have smart things to say. Um, I think that's what citizen journalism harnesses is that long tail of all of the other people. During the political debates uh, in our offices, we sit back and laugh because Barack Obama will be saying something and on half of our live blogs you'll hear how terrible and how wrong he is and what a liar he is and on the other half people are crying with joy because they're so inspired by him. So clearly there's a lot more to be said than the two or three talking heads on your television set every night.
After we spoke to cover it live, Digital Journal did another test of their service during the second presidential debate. And as the company promised, it put in safeguards to handle the large volumes of traffic. And Cover It Live performed well without any major glitches. It's something that we think is necessary for the future success of live blogging as a service. That's your look at live blogging and one of the big players in the industry that's helped driving it forward. To see samples of live blogs, you can visit digitaljournal.com and be sure to keep your eye out for upcoming live blogs. For Digital Journal TV, my name is Chris Hogg. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.